All right, good morning, Spreaker.com. Hey, it's Pastor Rick here. On Thursday morning, I believe the 12th, I believe, there it is, of October. All right. Well, I'm just sitting in the studio here uh, just a few minutes before 5 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. We are live on Spreaker right now. I wanted to just get on here and give you guys just a kind of a brief uh, message here and, uh, you know, kind of let you know what's happening and what's going on uh, and why I have not been on for uh, a week here. Uh, just before I even pray it in, um, just to let you guys know what's going on. So, uh, let's go ahead and just, pray. let me change that over. Let me go ahead and just uh, pray this in, and then uh, we'll get into the message update here, uh, early morning here. So, Father God, oh, I come before you again, as I always do, humbled and very appreciative of the opportunities I get uh, that you have given me to share this word and, and just share this message. Uh Father God, thank you again for everything that you have continued to provide and uh, and do. So thank you for that. Uh, you know, as you watch over the ministry, as you watch over the podcast here uh, and your church, um, you know, always grateful for that and, and thank you for that too. Uh, I want to pray for everybody out there, everybody hearing, listening, watching, uh, the podcast, um, you know, that touches their heart and uh, just gives them that uh, strength and that peace and that encouragement and courage uh, that we are seeking and, and looking for. Father God, thank you again for everything that you have done and, and continue to do. Uh, the, you know, the just everything. So thank you for that. As I go into this message this morning, uh, and this update live here this morning. So thank you for that, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. Well, friends, this is Pastor Rick here, uh, Ministry Podcast Network for Thursday early morning. Uh, and again, just before five, but I've, I've listed this as, as 5 a.m. here. Uh, really close, but uh, anyway, just thought I'd uh, jump on here, give you guys a kind of an update on what's going on. And again, why I haven't been on live uh, for about a week or so. It's actually been a week. It was last Thursday that I actually went on. So this is going to be a, just a little bit different. I'll give you some scriptures, of course, our podcast notes. And uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, just kind of wanted to update you on what's happening. Well, first of all, I've been doing a lot of work, yard work, uh, trying to get, you know, some things caught up uh, here uh, in this, uh, you know, in this towards, well, we're in October anyway, about the second week of October. So uh, this has uh, always been kind of a busy, uh, busy season for me. I'm trying to get caught up on stuff. Uh, I have been doing a lot of uh, prep and roofing uh, on uh, the grounds here on the, the uh, podcast uh, central, I guess. Uh, and, uh, you know, just been a lot of work. Uh, and, and plus we've had some rain on top of that, so we're kind of playing catch up with everything to try to get, uh, you know, try to get some things done. And of course, you know, putting in the hours and the time, uh, that kind of wears me out. So, uh, that's, that's kind of where that was all at. Uh, it was just uh, so much work and so much stuff going on, uh, with, uh, you know, with the roofing and yard work and the prep and, and then helping some neighbors. Uh, on top of that. So um, that was that. And then I ended up getting uh, a little bit of <laughs> laryngitis, some uh, kind of a throat uh, virus kind of thing happened and hit me. And I lost my voice for a few days. 
Uh, as you can tell, it's still kind of scratchy a little bit, a uh, little, you know, a little sore, but um, and that's kept me off, uh, off the podcast as well. And on top of that, our Wi-Fi has been uh, no, almost non-existent. Um, I tried to set a couple of things up and, you know, within 10 minutes or so, the Wi-Fi would shut off and I'd have to go back to the main uh, outlet and box and uh, reset that. So that happened. <laughs> And so I kind of just went, well, uh, I guess, you know, uh, God wants me to get some rest and, uh, you know, and that's, so that's what happened. So, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys being so patient, um, you know, just being patient and supportive and, uh, you know, um, your prayers that has been awesome. And I, I received those and, uh, now I should, like I said, now I, I should be able to get back on track again. I've got some podcasts posted up and, and set up. So if I get an opportunity this afternoon, uh, to go on just a little earlier, uh, I will do that. Uh, so, you know, we still got Restream TV. I still got StreamYard TV. Uh, and I, apparently I still have a few hours left on, the um where is it at the uh, melon tv i uh, haven't got a chance to cover that yet uh, but the finances have come in and i will be on the uh taking care of that uh soon so uh just be you know just uh, having some patience and uh you know um, waiting it out i guess to to try to take care of some things so um, and again, thank you guys always, uh, you know, you guys are awesome and I do appreciate each and every one of you tuning in, signing up, subscribing to the channels, uh, as always. So thank you guys for that. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get back on here later on tonight. Um, should be about 10 30 Thursday. So should be on, uh, stream yard uh, i'm thinking restream uh i might try to get on earlier in the day on restream but i think i'm live on stream yard uh tv tonight so we'll see uh maybe it's tomorrow i don't know maybe it's friday night uh for stream yard i i'm still kind of uh, working on my scheduling as well as uh, you know everything else going on but uh, I'm still kind of, uh, kind of trying to figure out the scheduling and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys can hear me okay on this one. I'm on my cell phone, uh, this morning and, uh, I decided to go ahead and just get on here while I was up. Uh, again, kind of going over some podcast notes here at the five o'clock a.m. hour here. Uh, well, let me go ahead and give you a, a, just a few. Uh, a few scriptures, and as always, you know, we're going to go into our podcast notes, uh, friends, so if you got those with you, uh, as you guys could probably hear me uh, going through them, and real quick here, always, uh, friends, shout out to everybody on Facebook, uh, of course, my little sisters and my uh, family, sons, of course, always want to send shout outs to them, and uh, you guys, uh, uh, you know, and of course, you guys out there that are listening to the podcast and subscribing to the channel's uh, friends. So thank you guys for that, as always. I always appreciate that. Well, let me get into this uh, here, friends. Again, we are live on Spreaker podcast, audio uh, podcast this morning. Uh, and if you guys are uh, subscribed to the Spreaker channel, Spotify podcast, of course, and uh, YouTube, uh, X, Twitter, of course, and all the other channels, this is live. So thank you guys for hanging out with me this morning. I uh, always appreciate that. So let's get into uh, some of the notes here. Uh, I'm not sure how long this is going to be, but uh, I will, you know, try to do what I can here and give you guys, a, uh, you know, some messages, a little bit of scripture here. Uh, and again, I'll try to get back on here. I think that's the, the plan is that I'm uh, kind of up to it again. I'm, I'm actually feeling a, little, a lot better and uh, have been resting. So I uh, should be back up on schedule tonight. Uh, and I, I believe I'll have to look at my schedule again. But I think I'm on um, Restream TV. And if, like I said, if I get an opportunity 
this afternoon i i will probably try to get on there again and, and do a full podcast but got a lot of scriptures for you friends as always so let's get to it let's get into this uh message live this morning pastor rick here uh ministry podcast network on spreaker audio live friends so let's get into our podcast notes Go ahead and get a hold of me at uh, World Wide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com, the official email, as we get into our opening scripture here, our sinner's prayer of salvation, friends. Now, dear God, I know that I am a sinner and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins, cleanse me of my past, make me new. I know your Son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward. Uh, Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please uh, send your Holy Spirit to guide me and help me do uh, do your will for the rest of my life. And in Jesus' name, friends, we pray, amen and amen. All right, uh, amen, friends. So uh, go ahead and get a hold of me, and uh, hey, I'll keep, uh, we'll keep uh, in touch and contact, and uh, of course, I'll pray for you, and uh, you know, our prayer lines are always open 24-7, friends, so don't hesitate, you're not alone, go ahead and send in that prayer request, friends. All right, thank you for that as well. So let's get into our serenity prayer, friends. Uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, and accepting hardships as the pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, Not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I would be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy uh, with him forever in the next. Amen and amen. Now I'm going to do a quick test volume level check here, uh, friends, just in case because I don't want to be too loud uh, and I don't know uh, volume wise where I'm at. So we're going to get that church on its feet again real quick here friends all right well i did test the volume level before i went on uh here again friends i'm on my phone actually my cell phone live i thought i'd go ahead and uh get in my uh or you know go on the vip lounge here in the studio and uh just test run a live uh podcast on my on my cell phone so there you go amen that's why uh you know that's uh that's why it's a little bit different i don't have my you know i'm in the studio but um just decided to go ahead and and hang out in the vip section of the studio here and in studio a so and then go ahead and go live on my cell phone so uh again test running this morning friends just a quick update I uh, never know how quick it is, but uh, just an update uh, message here uh, in this uh, early morning here. So let us let me get some coffee, and we will continue with the Lord's Prayer, friends. Amen. All right, go, let's go ahead and look at the Lord's Prayer here. Now, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stair daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, friends, forever and ever. Amen and amen. All right, let's go ahead and go into our next one. Of course, the armor of God, friends, the whole armor of God, of course. Uh, amen. All right. Well, let's look at it. Ephesians six ten through 20, friends, here in the King James Version again. 
Ah, uh, finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak uh, boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. All right, we're going to go into a couple more here, of course, in the book of Psalms 23 and 91. Now, again, friends, uh, as you guys are well aware of and uh, and know what's going on, uh, you know, the war in Israel, uh, this has been uh, heartbreaking uh, to see and to watch. And, uh, you know, I've got friends and uh, uh, rabbi that I've been studying with uh, that's over there. Um, and uh, it's, uh, you know, as we talk about it, it's, it's of course, biblical. It's uh, definitely, uh, you know, the, the Gog and Magog uh, war and all that, um, friends. But we want to pray, uh, friends. We want to pray for uh, family, friends, uh, you know, all victims, everything that's going on over there. We want to pray for them. Uh, so be vigilant. Uh, friends, and, uh, you know, take a few minutes out of your day, your, you know, your afternoon, your early morning, uh, or evening, uh, wherever you're at, if you could pray, uh, friends, continue to pray for them, uh, you know, of course, the world, but uh, right now, uh, over there as well, um, just keep them in mind, and, uh, you know, keep them in your thoughts and your prayers, uh, friends, if you can, uh, you know, our ministry here, uh, it, we are we are doing a uh, you know 24 hour candle vigil uh, for uh, for all that uh, that's going on over there, and uh, you know it's uh, it's heartbreaking to to see uh, everything that's going on you know in the world. Basically, you know it's the the birth pangs, friends. We're in the end times, and these are clear. Uh, prophetic signs of the end times that's happening. And Jesus is coming soon, friends. So repent now before it's too late, brothers and sisters. It's all I can, you know, shout out and give a warning uh, as we sound the, the trumpet here, the alarm in these end times, uh, friends, in Ezekiel 33, 1 through 33, sound the trumpet, sound the alarms. Uh, before it's too late, repent and get right with Jesus, friends, before it's too late, uh, you know. Uh, and again, that's been my whole motivation here and the, the whole reason why I do all the podcasts. Again, uh, circumstances this week has been, uh, you know, definitely uh, tough for me on a personal level. <clears throat> I mean, losing my voice. For a few days, like I said, and then trying to trying to balance everything out, trying to get the work done, trying to get all that stuff, and then dealing with the weather uh, situation here uh, locally has not been easy either. And then, uh, of course, uh, you know, like like I said, the, the weather, um, the the losing my voice, dealing with a Wi-Fi situation here, um, you know, that has been. Um, it's been a battle and, and you guys know, you know, watching and listening to the podcast over these years, you guys know that's, uh, that's kind of been what I've, I've tried to been dealing with. And so, uh, even, even my cell phone runs on the Wi-Fi uh, box, you know, or, or I have one in my room, you know, in the studio here in the room, 
Um, <coughs> I have uh, uh, the the extra breaker here uh, and the the you know the box, but we are we're talking about getting and changing companies out, get, getting go to somebody else because of the inconsistencies and the issues and the problems with the other uh, you know the other Wi-Fi connection. So that uh, is coming up in the near future here, probably in November. Uh, we'll we'll be trying to switch that out, and so we'll see. Uh, you know, like I said before, I've kind of talked about this before we get into Psalm twenty three ninety one. Um, you know, uh, even if I pre record it and then try to upload it without the Wi Fi, it's kind of at, at an at a loss there. It's really kind of tough to do that. I now I've arranged with a neighbor to go ahead and use their Wi Fi once I record, so that's a possibility that uh, I'll have this taken care of, and then I can just, you know, if I go on record a live uh, podcast, and I can just go ahead and, you know, hang out and, and upload it from there. So uh, so I, I'm trying to resolve some issues here, but I, I think we're going to be uh, going to another, you know, another Wi-Fi company anyway and updating that and upgrading it to a different uh, different deal so anyway stay tuned uh, friends you know i appreciate like i said i always appreciate you guys hanging out and uh checking out the podcast and subscribing of course watching uh all the podcasts on youtube and stuff so thank you guys for that but uh you know that's again this is just an update here uh as i'm kind of thinking about things uh here uh, this is just going to be, you know, just an update, just kind of let you guys know what's going on. I'm still here. God hasn't told me to quit or, or you know, shut down any of the podcasts. Um, you know, like I said, it's been it's been seven days. This is last Thursday was the last time I was on. Uh, and so, you know, um, I haven't gone anywhere. Still here. Um, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll take it, uh, day by day here and, and kind of see where things are at. But, uh, again, that's what happened, uh, friends. <laughs> and, um, uh, so thank you guys. All I can do is just thank you so much. Just humbled and appreciative of you guys being there, staying with me, uh, you know, hanging in there with me and, uh, you know, um, I hope you guys get something out of the podcast. I hope you guys get something out of the the scriptures, you know, as the Holy Spirit calls me to re- share them, is read those out with you, you know, for you, and have church service. Well, let's get into it, friends. Let's go ahead and keep going here just a little bit more. Uh, Psalm 23 and 91. Let's go to Psalm 23. Very uh, timely scriptures here, friends. Now, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters and restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Right, friends? Amen. Psalm 23, what a powerful scripture that is. Now let's go into Psalm 91, of course, friends, as we call on that protection, uh, that refuge, as we know, Elohim, friends. All right, uh, Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, again, my Elohim, my God, in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you, friends, with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler, and you will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. 
You only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Let's go on to the next verse here. Ah, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, and no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. Uh, When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation or Yahusha. Friends, and there you go, Psalm uh, 91 and Psalm 23. All right, well, there you go on that one, friends. Let me go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and find uh, my notes here. Of course, I'll you know I can do that later on. Um, all right, yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to go through that a little bit later here after the podcast. Uh, amen. All right. Well, let's see. There it is. I'm going to have to redo all my notes. That's all right. All right. Well, there you go, friends, on that. So let me give you a couple more uh, here. Uh, amen. Like I said, not a very uh, long set of scriptures or, you know, message here, but uh, I just wanted to update you and kind of let you know what's happening, what's going on uh, with me and, uh, you know, the ministry. And again, I'm always, I'm still here. Um you know, like I, like I said here, uh, friends, I'm still here. God hasn't called me uh, or said for me to quit or do anything. So I don't want you guys to get worried if there's gaps in the podcast. I'm trying, uh, again, as I said so many times, uh, I'm trying not to let there be gaps in the podcast and the messages. But sometimes it happens, uh, you know, friends, and uh, I, I'm okay. I'm here um, again trying to do, uh, you know, trying to do the repairs, the renovations, the roof, uh, our yard, uh, grounds, the, the parking, guest parking, the the two uh, or three, we've got uh, three units, three other studio units here on the main level, and then, or two on the main level, and then one in the, the lower deck of the, the first floor, the first basically basic uh, basement. But we are renovating that into a church service uh, area, recording, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, just a couple of extra uh, studio spaces there. And then, of course, we've got the two mobile units uh, on the grounds on the property. And we are, uh, you know, trying to work on those as well. And again, we're getting into our winter season here. So we'll be, you know, we'll be getting some snow here. Uh, at the end of the month, and so we are trying to, you know, winterize our our roof, the, you know, the studio roof here, uh, and uh, so it's it's you know it's been a, a bit of a challenge as always. And then, like I said, uh, having laryngitis for three three days, three and a half or four, uh, that's been rough too, you know, and so I've been kind of dealing with that and of course there's always the the wi-fi problem so it you know um the devil is uh definitely uh on the on the loose he's definitely on the attack but i i'm still still here still fighting it out and uh you know staying in my word and uh not uh not losing faith of course you know these these fiery trials, these darts uh, of the you know as it says in uh, Ephesians, the uh, fiery trials of the wicked. Um, you know the the devil is on the loose; he's on the attack, and uh, he's doing anything and everything that he can uh, to shut us down to take our focus off of God, and uh, we can't let him do that, friends. We we have to. Uh, stay focused on God. We have to stay focused on our word. 
no matter what, uh, as we, you know, as we always want to walk by sight, not by faith, we have to flip that around and walk by faith and not by sight, friends. So, um, yeah, so just, uh, you know, just uh, stay focused and uh, don't fall for the lies and the tricks of the enemy because he, boy, is he... Uh, he's mad. He's doing whatever he can and whatever, what anything that he can to sidetrack us off of God, friends. And we have to just block that enemy out and, and say, nope, not today, Mr. Devil. Get out of my face. Get out of my grill. Get out of my business. I'm about my father's business, friends. And that's what we need to do every day. Put our feet on the ground and thank God. Uh, and be in our word, read your Bible, you know, stay in the word, um, and, uh, block all that nonsense out of the devil and all his minions and, uh, you know, all that mess that he's, uh, he, all the lies front. So, um, so, you know, well, that's, uh, it's <laughs> kind of just some rambling going on there, but, uh, I wanted to share that out with you. So let's go to some of the podcast notes here, friends, as I always like to share. And then, you know, like I said, I'll I'll probably close out here in, in just a bit. But let me go to uh, some notes here. Uh, and uh, I want to go into Colossians 2.13. I was made alive with Christ, friends. I was made alive with Christ. The Father made us alive together. He co-quickened us. His resurrection life is now in me. God quickened me with the same new life which uh, or with which he raised Jesus. I am full of his life. And let's go to Ephesians 2.5. In giving life to Christ, God gave life to me because I have been identified with Christ. God saw me dead. He saw me buried. He saw me made alive. I was made alive with Christ, church. That same new life has now been breathed into me. God gave me the very life of Christ himself, the same new life with which God quickened him, the same life that made Jesus the master of hell's dark forces is in me. Amen. Because we are more than conquers, friends. So as we look at Colossians 2.15 here again, kind of going over a different verse, but uh, let's check it out. I conquered with him. His victory is my victory, for I was identified with him. He conquered principalities and powers for me. He triumphed over them for me. His uh, triumph was my triumph. I share In his victory, Satan is a defeated foe as far as I am concerned. And Christ's conquest was my conquest. Satan's dominion over me has come to an end, friends. We got to believe that and receive it. All right, let's look at Hebrews 2.14. Satan was rendered powerless toward me by Christ's victory. He has been dethroned, defeated, put to naught, made of no effect, overthrown, neutralized, paralyzed, crushed, and put out of commission as far as I'm concerned. I conquered him with Christ. And as we look at the next page here, uh, Christ's victory was my victory because I was made alive, church, and raised with him. As we go on to the next, uh, in Colossians 3, 1, I was raised with him. I have been raised with Christ to enjoy the things that are above, where Christ is seated at, our, at the right hand of the Father. Uh, seated at the right hand of the Father, there it is. Uh, the rich eternal treasures of that heavenly sphere are mine to seize and enjoy. All the things of God and Christ are mine. I was raised with Christ. I shared in his glorious resurrection. As we look at the next one, friends, we're going to jump on over to Ephesians 
1, 19 through 21. Amen. Saved by grace, friends. Sinners saved by grace. Amen. Now, the same power that raised uh, Christ from the dead is at work in me. His resurrection power is overwhelmingly great. Unlimited, immeasurable, infinite, or infinite, uh, resistless, right? Resistless, stupendous, and tremendously mighty. His resurrection power is at work in me because I was raised with Christ. I share the benefits of his resurrection, and I was raised with Christ. And let's jump on over to, again, in Ephesians 1, 19, 21, and chapter 2, verse 6, and then Luke 10, 19. I was seated, friends, with Christ. Amen. Now, I was raised with Christ, the same mighty power and that raised him up victorious over all man's enemies, also raised me up. I am seated with him, enthroned with him in the heavenly realm. I share the authority of his throne. I rule with him over sin, poverty, sickness, demons, and circumstances. All that is under his feet is under my feet, because I have been seated with him. All principalities, powers, and demonic forces are under my feet. Sickness and poverty are under my feet. Satan is under my feet. I have authority to tread on serpents and scorpions. I have authority over all the power the enemy possesses. Friends, so we got to receive that. we got to believe that. Amen, right? All right, I'll give you a few more here. We're going to close out uh, about about two, three minutes here. So kind of want to you know let the clock wind down here. But we're live on the air again, Spreaker, Blog Talk Radio, Tin Can, and more. And, of course, this will be uh, uploaded to all the channels. Of course, X, Twitter, and more, friends. So, and I should be back uh, again, as I was saying. I should be back on later on tonight. Uh, for a Thursday broadcast, uh, and I, again, I'll have to look at my schedule, but I think, um, I think it's going to be on Restream TV, um, and uh, maybe Friday is going to be uh, StreamYard. So I'll have to look at it again. I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that uh, schedule. As I still working on that, still kind of waiting for. Uh, uh, some finances to come in so I can cover Mel and TV again. But, you know, one way or the other, I'm going to get back on, on here again. And, uh, you know, as I always say, thank you guys for being so patient, your prayers, your support, uh, subscribing to the channels. And, uh, you know, that's been awesome. And that's that's really good. And I do appreciate each and every one of you that are doing that. Uh, you know, I, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm not, I haven't gone anywhere. Uh, this has just been, again, one of those, one of those weeks that just kind of got away from me. Uh, you know, um, as I've been trying to put some hours in on our renovations again and, um, uh, you know, trying to stay up with that and, and just kind of balance everything out. Um, you know, so you all know what's going on with that. You all know the situation and circumstances that's uh, happening with that. And so, you know, we're in a brand new day. It's Thursday, uh, what did I say, the 12th here. Uh, yep, October 12th already. Uh, Thursday, early morning now, just about 5.30, friends. Again, uh, coast to coast. And worldwide and international, you're live on the air with Pastor Rick. Appreciate you guys dropping by the studio this morning on this early morning uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time hour here in the rain. Again, we got more rain coming right now uh, as I have the studio windows open, sitting in our VIP lounge uh, recording area. It's a guest. Uh, it's a guest location or guest area, but it's in the main studio here in Studio A. Uh, just, you know, just right off to the side of my, my main recording desk, uh, I have, uh, set up, you know, some guest studio, you know, guest location with microphones and, 
the monitors and all that. So that's where I'm at. I decided to go ahead and uh, hang out in the lounge area of the studio here. So I uh, just kind of, you know, want to give you guys an update and let you guys know what's going on. And of course, uh, filling you in because you're in the loop. You're in the now here, friends, and you're in the know. Well, let's just go one more here. Uh, amen. As I kind of go through my notes, but let me close out, give you one more here, friends, the eternal life. As I look at my notes here, so let's close out uh, with this one. Friends, the reason for Jesus coming and the, uh, let's see, the primary object of the plan of redemption. Again, we are in John chapter 6, 33 uh, and 10, 10. And of course, 1 John 1, 1, 2 and uh, chapter 4, and nine, kind of a lot of different scriptures here, but let's uh, look at this and close out with this, friends. Now, life has been manifested in Jesus. He is the life giver. The reason the Father sent the Son was to give me life, and the reason Jesus came down from heaven was to give me life. The God kind of life, eternal life, I have that life in me, friends. And there you go brothers and sisters thank you guys again so much for everything and uh, your support of course getting back uh on schedule uh later on tonight and again it's either 10 30 or 11 uh i'll have to look at that again i might uh, i might switch that out for thursday session but uh we should be back on i should be back on later tonight uh and again I'll see where I'm at with that, but I might, uh, like I said, I might be on Restream TV uh, for Thursday, and then I think for tonight, and then tomorrow, Friday, is going to be at Stream, or maybe at StreamYard tonight, and Restream Friday, and then StreamYard on Saturday, or Sabbath, because I was going to do Melon TV, so we'll kind of see where that's at. I'm um, still kind of balancing out the schedule here. So anyway, friends, thank you guys so much. Again, let's get that church on its feet. Amen. Of course, that thunder, that warning. Friends, you have been warned. Uh, the end times are here, and we need to stand by our God. We need to stay focused and centered on uh on our on the cross hold on to that cross friends don't let go all right you have been updated here friends for again uh the 12th of october uh just a little after 5 30 here a.m pastor rick ministry podcast network i will get this out and shared uh friends i uh, this morning and i will get that out uh to you so thank you guys we're live on spreaker podcast this morning friends again thank you guys ever so much and i'll see you very soon thank you guys again for all your support uh friends and uh, check the links out uh in the description here my youngest son's podcast messages updates on spreaker Spotify, YouTube, KNR uh, podcasts, and of course, live on YouTube as well. So check that out, subscribe, and appreciate you guys doing that. Um, the, again, the links are in the description. So have a great rest of your Thursday, friends. Stay dry, and uh, friends, uh, and, and please, again, pray for Israel, friends, Israel. Uh, as they are in battle, they're in war right now. A lot of, lot of things happening all over the globe, all over the world, uh, in every city. But of course, you know, with the, this thing going on, this war going on in Israel, say, say a prayer for us for them. All right. That's it for this one, brothers and sisters, church. Uh, as we always say, come on in. The church is on. The doors are open. Bring your Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters, coffee. And uh, let's get some church. So you have had your church. So uh, until the next one, my friends, take care and have a great rest of your Thursday. Be safe, friends. Stay safe. And, uh, you know, read your Bible and 
say a prayer and hold on, friends, because you know we're we're in the end times uh, here, and uh, we need to hold on to Jesus that much more. So uh, take care, and I will see you on the very next podcast, friends. Have a great rest of your Thursday. See you soon. Amen and amen.